guys welcome back to another video here on YouTube I want to show you guys how the tarp installs in a mulch mate and I got Gavin and Sam with me they're gonna go ahead and put this in for me and I'm gonna film them and we're gonna to try to explain this whole thing to you so basically how does the material get through the body of a trailer or the truck or whatnot it's this tarp let me show it to you real quick so there it is that guy how much do you think that thing weighs Thirty thirty pound tarp. That thing is extremely extremely heavy. Um, we ship it to you in a box. When it comes to the mulch, it's in a box. We already removed the box already. So let me show you how this works. So you see, get in the trailer like so, and then we have Velcro right there all the way around the tube. Okay. So go ahead and pull it out of the bag. And what we're going to show you is there's a certain way you do this. When you unroll it, you want to find the Velcro uh, side. So like the uh, the loop side. So the other side you see on the tarp tube, that's a hook. And then there's a loop on this side here. So Gavin is going to pop that thing out. All right, and you can see there's that orange part right there. We're going to get to that here in a second, so bear with us. But just to kind of explain how this works, the tarp wraps around that tube. We call that the tarp tube. That tarp tube is what the tarp rolls around. And when the tarp gets applied, it wraps around and it cinches down on it like Chinese handcuffs. This allows us to pull whatever material we want through this trailer or through a truck or through our... Um, different bodies that we build and this unit here this tarp is actually 30 foot long so it's like two tarps in one you can handle this two ways if the tarp is all the way pulled all the way out okay this tarp will stretch over this bed and it'll lay over here and what that means is you can run a load and then without having to reset it you can load it again run on the load and then after the second load you just reset pull it back out and continue and while these guys are pulling, I want to show you. So this is what the tarp actually hooks into. These are just very simple spring clamps you get at Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, we are just now starting to provide these. And these just bolt right in. You see the, the nut back there. And the tarp will pull out, come up into here, clip into here, and that's it. And you're done. So now the boys have got this thing pretty much laid out. It's a very, very large tarp. You see it all. It's all over the place right now. So this orange line, we'll get to that in a second. That's what I was just telling you about. So what Sam's going to do here on the right-hand side, we're going to start on the driver's side. And what he's going to do is he's going to apply that tarp about an eighth of an inch off that side panel. And there's a piece of plastic here. So you can see, see how he's doing that? And then what he's going to do is he's going to try to keep this aligned nice and square and straight all the way across. He's just applying it. No tools required. Gavin's already just kind of holding it nice and tight. He's going to pop it. I'm doing this with two guys just because it's, it's easier to show you this way, right? So, all right, now we've got it all applied. The, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to climb down here. Watch how easy this is. So just going to step. Nice and easy. So right now, we get the key in. So this is how you start a mulch mate. Done. It's on. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is, Sam should have a remote control in his hand, as you can see. Right there. And he's going to press in. And what we're going to do is we're going to line this tarp up. And this tarp is going to slide right on in to the mulch mate. And what's going to happen is, once this orange line is out of view it then is time and it's safe to start putting you know material on top of this tarp you never want to see this out unless you're pulling it out for maintenance you know reasons or so on and so forth so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold it right here and i'm just going to kind of keep a little tension on it sam's going to keep his foot on it over there and he's not going to put we're not putting much tension on this at all we're just kind of keeping it aligned so without further ado sammy go ahead and just press the button and let it wind in so you can see here the machine's not very loud at all I'm just kind of keeping it nice and snug right here. I'm not really pulling on too hard. While they're doing that, that's how it winds up, nice and neat. Now, all these wrinkles will get out of it once you put some weight on the system. Once you put some weight on this tarp, it's actually going to go ahead and pull it nice and taut, and it's gonna look a lot like you see here. And this is what all the material goes in, so there's no dumping required. And then you can see on there, it says caution, slippery surface, and then it says it also in Spanish. So this is very, very, very slick. Allowed, okay, you're good. So, we, so Sam's controlling all this with that remote right there, okay? So with this tarp here, this is this is a very slippery feel here. And there you go, it's all over this tarp all the way through. And then can we see the handles? So underneath the tarp, there's some handles. That's stitched in there. 
there, and there, and then so on and so forth. See, there it is again, okay? So, clean surface, throw your tarp down. Let's go ahead, guys, I'm gonna show them what it looks like all clipped up into the spring hand, uh, hand clamps up there, please. So really simple. One guy can do this. We're just kind of for filming purposes. So Sam's controlling it again. Look, no one's over here. No one's messing with it. It's all Sam. Okay, so he's gonna pull it out. That should be good, I think, right? And so all he's gonna do is he's going to clip it like so. Gavin's got his all clipped in there like so. And now you're ready to go ahead and put your load in here and basically what you're looking for is you want the tarp kind of tight to here it's tight over there so you can see where the guys are standing and now your mulch mate now is ready for a load of mulch a load of gravel a load of dirt composting whatever and this is the same exact scenario with whether it's our dmt trailer or one of our uh, different bodies for different style of trucks whether it's hook lift or whatever um, it can also be for a regular 450 550 body this tarp the reason this is so important is that this will conform to any truck bed surface. We do run this UHMW liner here. And what that does, it, it started off as a repair kit for truck bodies that had a lot of rust in them, real rough, and you didn't want to tear the tarp up. So that's where it started. And then we quickly realized the adhesion level between the two was, it was helping the material slide through even easier and faster. And it was protecting the investment too. So we really have adapted to this UHMW. It's, it's really good stuff. Ours in the DMT trailer, this is quarter inch thick, so you can kind of see my thumb. It's, it's really thick, very, very nice stuff. So that's a real quick rundown on how a mulch mate gets the material into itself via the tarp. This tarp is a very, very strong, like a ballistic nylon style weave. You can see it's got stitching in it here. You flip it over, there's more belting you can see right there. That belting is what gives the corners its strength. Um, there's nothing else in this other than the belting on either side. Um, the printing, the handles, and then the Velcro with that orange stripe you saw earlier, that's it. That is all it takes to pull the material through this bed. The reason we love this too is that there's less to fail. There's, there's not a bunch of gas motors and hydraulics and rubber floors and rollers and adjustments and all that. This thing will adjust on the fly on its own um, and you can pull it right through. And again, this is, this is the, one, the one wear item on the whole system. Um, most guys see at least one season out of these tarps. I've got crews out there with two, three, four seasons on them. And those boys, I'll give you one for instance. They're the biggest landscape company that's privately owned in the state of Texas runs four of these rigs. And I haven't seen them buy. Sam, when was the last time they bought a tarp? It's been two years, three years. It's been a while. And I talked to the head guy over there, Frank, and he doesn't need one because he's running it correctly. And it's, it's amazing. So don't let this tarp fool you. Um, this actually has the tarping mechanism has a rating of 20,000 pounds of pulling strength. Um, and then the tarp, I would recommend never exceeding seven to eight tons. That's when I think this guy um, will fail. And it says it on the trailer. I'll show it to you real quick. It says right here on the trailer. Uh, do not fill above the top trailer uh, more than four tons max. So four tons is gonna put you probably over the DOT limit anyway. Um, it's perfectly fine to do the four times and honestly, don't, don't tell anybody, you'd probably do more. <laughs> I didn't say that. Um, but that's it. That's, that's your tarp install on a mulch mate. It's quick. It's easy. I don't know how long, how long do you think that was? Was it hard? It's a piece of cake. So the whole Velcro thing is just, a, it's like a third arm, right? So all we tell you is line it up straight, keep it clean, put this thing in each load. That's where it goes and you're done. All right, guys, so there you go. There is your mulch mate installing your tarp. Very simple, very easy, all remote controlled. Um, and if that remote control ever does go bad, you can actually do it all for right, right here. So uh, the redundancy in this system is extremely, extremely nice. Oh, one other thing I wanna show you. So in this basket here, there is, so in this basket here, this is a hook. See this hook right here? So I'm gonna have Sam give you kind of a, take that for me, would you? So what he does with this hook is when this tarp is rolled all the way in, I'm like, can you point out that right? You know, I'm gonna go up here, hang on, let me get up here. So the handles, what are the handles for? The handles are for the tarp. So imagine the tarp being pulled all the way in. You can take this handle right here. You can go under, hook the handle. I don't know if you can tell where my feet are, I'm really far away from all this. So if you're concerned about the augers, simply pull this, 
pulled out. I mean, I'm really far away. I'm six feet away. Um, and we also have an auger guard you can purchase. That's what these little holes right there are for. So if you ever need or have a concern, we've got you covered three ways a Sunday and we have a um, lockout tag out box for that control panel. But this remote is what does everything. See what I'm saying? So, thank you. So we've got you covered. If you have any kind of concerns, let us know. Just shoot us uh, an email, just sales at ultimateusa.com and we will answer any of your questions. But this is a tried and true system. It's been working for nearly a decade now and guys love it and it's an amazing tool and they can get a lot of work done. How long will it last? The truth of that is it's it's all dependent on A, how well do you take care of your equipment? That's anything, right? My, my brand new truck could blow up if I don't change the oil in it. Um, if you're running a harsher material, it, it may wear it a little bit more. That's again, anything. I think that's about it. So if you guys have any questions, leave us a comment down below. Um, if you like this video, give it a like, comment, share, whatever you gotta do. Um, we really appreciate the support and we really hope that this helps you under, better understand tarping mechanism in your mulch mate or soon to be mulch mate. Uh, hope you guys have an awesome day. Go to mulchmateusa.com, get one of these bad boys.